There is a difference between miracle, sign, and wonder. In a miracle, what God does is that he suspends time. In a sign, what God does is that he points in the direction of interest. The Bible says, for instance, that the sons of Issachar were men that understood the time. One of the things that God does in order to make it easy for humankind to synchronize with his present revelation position in the spirit is that he gives a sign. When seasons in God fructify, what happens is that they are announced by signs. And if you know how to interpret the signs that are littered across the spirit realm, you will be able to understand the times. So when we say that the sons of Issachar were men that understood the times, there were people that knew how to read the signs that the environment in the spirit is littered with about concerning that which God intended. Have you read the book of Acts before? Before the Holy Ghost came down, there was a noise like a rushing mighty wind. God will occasion the sign before he effects the release and people that know how to read the sign will know how to begin to take their journey and to prepare for that which is about to come. It was Elijah on the man mountain top trying to bring perspective and what he heard was the sound of an abundance of rain. It means that God made the sound first before he released it. God is a God of signs. If you want to gain mileage in the things of the spirit, find out what God is doing and angulate to it. Grace will carry you through. I've seen several people striving so hard to fight the season. And they are not aware of the fact that it was a critical strategic meeting in heaven that led to the announcements that open the gate of that season. There are powers beyond your control responsible for the shift in season. And the fact that you try to sustain a position that is defiant doesn't mean you will succeed.